true, true to your heart and you're not um, extreme, going to any of the extremes. All right. Xiao is the elder word, elder people. This is a combination of two words. The bottom one is san. The, the top one is the top part of the elder in Chinese. So xiao means the elders, generations, passed down to the younger generations. They keep going. And so how, how does that show? Be kind, be loving. Take care of them. All right. So, and obviously the branch from your parents is you and your siblings. So take care of each other as well. Especially when those people, when you grow up, one day your parents leave you. All you have for their memory is your siblings as well. And you, hopefully you have nephews and nieces. So that's it. That's how you accumulate merits, guys. There's nothing out of the blue. Everyday life, everything you do, you know, stay by what is what really matters. You know, loyalty and uh, uh, and be loving to people who are close to you, who are you know, your parents and siblings. And then you move on to extra cultivation. He cultivates himself and performs others. See how they put that word together. Zheng ji hua ren. Person who cultivate himself will create an example for others to follow. You don't tell them to follow you. You don't even want them to follow you. They will follow you if you do it right. Why? Because they saw you shining. What what what, what does it mean by shining? They saw you do everything you do, everything you say. It's not a show. You're actually trying to do things right and actually conducting common sense in your work or in your life things that make sense you know what is not right does not make sense in a sense right like 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 this does not you should not do this you know um uh what do I say uh it, it, it this this work requires you to um yeah i can bring an example but the problem is if you do things by uh, common sense you do things by you know earnest you know and you do things a bit about uh, as less selfish as you could, people will, will feel it. People will know you're real. And they will, they will, how to say, naturally follow your example. Uh, they, they will emulate. Because people is, human is a creature of emulation. So we love to mimic people. I always keep observing and keep thinking, yeah, we love to mimic people. Like when we saw something cool, this is how fashion came in, right? Like we saw that person wearing such a cool hairstyle and clothing. We mimic them. But that's what's that's what's cool around uh, on the street uh, in this season, the fashion of the week, something like that. Same goes for attitude, more behavior. And there's always reason why you have like a for us Australian of the year, or even though we might not take notice, our own model, maybe you know anime or any 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 sort of character that we build up. The statue that we build up. There's a saying in Greece, right? Like, uh, I forgot. It's like why people have statues. Why people build statues? Because everyone has that idealized model uh, of someone or something. God of Athena represents what love and something like that. So, so, so does us. We have our own idealized um, state. We want to be like that person, something like that. And if you encounter that person that actually touches you and you'll be like, oh yeah, I really want to be him, like him or her. And this is who I want to be. Or this is the kind of manager I want to be if, I, if I'm like that one day, if I'm getting to that position. Or this is the kind of monk I like to be if I'm aspired to be a monk. Or this is the kind of uh, human I like to be for my parents or something like that. The best person you can emulate I mean, the best position of you to cultivate yourself and reform others is as parents, or as, a, as a brothers or sisters. The people close to you can see it very quickly because they've been seeing you in that mode since you were born. And if you actually truly change yourself, as in you get better and better in your uh, managing your habits and you know, your life is rhythm, it, you have, you know, able to control your temperaments, not getting it lashed out, they will see it straightforward. They will know that, oh, you no longer, you know, yell at something, uh, uh, anything that resembles discomfort, something like that. Oh, all right. Yeah, so, 
it shows concern for the welfare of the lonely widow and orphans. 金箍续寡啦，这个跟孔子的关系啊。金箍续寡也敬老怀幼。金箍续寡呀 ，is basically what show concern for the welfare of lonely widow and orphan. So you know we have orphanage, we have those, especially Catholics and Christian. They have a lot of this organization charities. They do take this phrase seriously. But obviously there are more improvements in terms of the quality, like. Instead of just letting them take care, because Master Ching Kong also have the multi-faith dialogue. I'm I'm bringing this 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 one is quite straightforward. So to explain it directly means that people who are disadvantaged or people who in need of care more care than others, especially people who lost their parents, who lost their loved ones, the other half, you know, who are maybe you know old, elder, elderly, but no family taking care of them. Like there are children to not come back, something like that. And if you happen to be in a position where you can take care of them, you know, we see. So I seen a, a lot of、um, news like back in the lockdown and some people like old man losing one of his hand. He was a is in China, I think Shanghai. He losing one of his hand because he was a retired, he's an army veteran. And this young man is very nice. He cook every meal for this old man. Even though they don't know each other, it's just his old neighbor walks up. He recorded this. See, this is what cultivates himself and reform others. So he he just do it. You know, he don't think of anything. He just say, oh yeah, I'll just might as well cook another meal, and then just bring it up to him, knock on his door and give him the food. And he did that for a few months. You know, so they become good friends and even sit down and play chess and something like that, have a drink. So it can be fun thing, you know. It, it, it can open your life. It might be troublesome at the beginning. You try to cook more meals or anything, but once you open up, it's 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 a different side of your world. It's you know your world will become more gentle and compassionate because what you do is gentle and compassionate. So everything arises from your heart. So shows concern for the welfare for others, right? Not just relying on the government welfare. That is systematic. That's You're lucky if your nation do that. If your nation doesn't do that, then we have to rely on the people, which is the organization, the non voluntary nonprofits. <clears throat> And why、I、bring up Master Ching Kong in this? Because he has been to a lot of nice nurseries, and,、uh, especially the elderly retirement home in Australia. Master Ching Kong was visiting that during the multi faith、uh, event. He, I think, back in Singapore. Actually, he has visited a lot of、um, elderly home, the retirement home.、Um, it's actually more elderly home, like they take care of the disadvantaged old man, and he sees all of them just sit there and waiting, waiting for what? Waiting for the time up. It's a terrible feeling, isn't it? You sit there, it's like waiting in a line for food, right? At least in the end of the day, you have a nice warm food, so you wait for a long line on a off on on a Popular store, but this guy, all these old people, he observed. They're all sitting there, getting fed, taking care of all that, you know, excrements and all that thing, nursed by the professional caretaker. But that's the physical part. What about the soul? They sit there. What do they wait? They wait for their times up. Whether they go up or down, but this part is so painful. Isn't it? If you imagine you sit yourself but alone, your body cannot move as well.、Uh, you're bound by the chair because you can't move without people move, putting you into the wheelchair. And even in wheelchair, you need to be pushed. There's only so much you can do with your hand. And then you get you have to rely on other people to caretake you. And obviously, you feel terrible, and you will lash out at others. But without going too far. What he observes is all of them sit there and waiting, waiting to for the times up. And he say like this is something that what does well in the Buddhist community. Like even the current one I mean is the Buddhist、uh, Metaba、uh, New South Wales or Mitochun in Pennsylvania. I, I'm pretty sure they also have the same. They they don't have that title of retirement home or anything, but they just open up for the elderly people. Come over, 
to help volunteer chopping vegetables. Why is that? Why is that a better way? Because first thing he he don't just receive, he also can give. And that feeling of give is actually quite fulfilling. That's why we work. Obviously we work to survive, to get plate food on our table, but we also work I mean in true work we also feel like we are contributing to something. Especially when your team is performing well, your whole feeling is so good. So same goes for this volunteering and these elderly people always come here. Not only that, we take care of the spiritual part of it. Chanting Amito for, you know, that's how Master Ching will say in Mito Chun. I think he also promotes the Mito Chun or something. That's the whole conception of it. It allows people to come here. They can stay as well. Like in Brisbane, they have their own places in the Brisbane Amitabha group. Uh, they have their own places to stay in. Few people they register. That was pre COVID. I don't know what happened now. Um, they can stay over for a few, few, way, few weeks or even months. And they have their own set. Even if you stay long, obviously you need to contribute a lot. Or even just one day, right? This, these are the money from 10 directions. But the point is, you stay there, you also can contribute. Sweeping the floor, even especially big events like. Uh, San Cecilia and the Trizini ceremony, everyone just come together, preparing all that food, dumplings. Oh, that feeling is different, right? It's like when I was young, when you were young, I think, Auntie, as well, you were in a big group of family where everyone's preparing for New Year. And this one was done weekly. That feeling is different. Everyone can sit down and have tea. This, kind of, this is the kind of retirement home I want to retire to if you want, if I, have, if I still have my lifespan left by then. It's like where you you still owe, but you still contributing. Doesn't even how doesn't matter how small it is. Sweeping floor, you know, chopping vegetables, something to do, and then and then you can interact with people, especially in the in the, in the, our settings where everyone has the same belief, understanding, and especially in Pure Land, it's telling you to prepare for your, you know, afterlife in a sense. When you pass on, you move on to Pure Land. And now you have to cultivate. So this is also part of your cultivation. All in one. As long as your mindset is correct and you don't give in to anger, hatred, ignorance. You know, you clean up this rubbish and slowly grow up your merits. So merit can transform in many ways. For us, it's pure land. So that's what I'm trying to say is especially for the retirement home. That's the um kind of direction they should go. You, know, you would not just sit there and wait. Sometimes you are bedridden with a very serious condition, but normal pe old people in the general, I think in the average level, they still can walk, they still can talk. So they should have the environment where they should contribute to the community in a protected space where you know there's still people looking after them, but they can st still cook, they can, sh they can even take care of other elder people. The feeling is different. Trust me, it's different. Um, I think that's it. It's 11 o'clock. Uh, we have uh, done the first part. First half, all right? Yeah, I think it's half. Oh no, it's not. We're done like uh, this much for the section two of Tai Shan Gai Pian, Treaties and Response and Retributions. Thank you for the, um, uh, you know, for listening to into this, uh, I'm still practicing, trying to enriching the content of this. You will do very well with proper examples, which I'm still working on. But right now, I'm just talking in circle about talk, theories, the, the understanding, conceptuals. Very heavy on concept rather than examples. I did give a few, but I uh, will work hard for that with my own life experience, with the experience I had from others like Master Ching Kong or even aunties or Auntie Yen Zi or even other friends. But I also bring some historical example given by uh, the books that I've read, you know, the temple books, the books of Mr. Yu, Mr. Uh, Liao Fan as well. So thank you so much. Um, to summarize all this, We can talk so much and we can get it just like that, but to do it, um, it 
takes time and time is the only way for you to do it well. The provider you let time do it, you give time to do it. That means you put effort into it. Um, in the beginning, it might sound like a bit forced. It might sound like you're trying to earn the wages of merit. But um, this is the mindset that you will transform eventually as you see the real substance of doing good. It's actually for doing good for others is actually taking care of yourself. Taking care of others is actually taking care of yourself. Uh, if you locked up from the outside and just taking care only of yourself, you're hurting yourself because what else do you need if you're already secure with food, shelter, entertainment, any kind of entertainment, TVs or anything, even friends? What else do you need? It's empty, to be honest. So you have to need to, another step is to go out and treat everything with gentle and compassion. So other than the survival thing or the, your own basic needs and stuff, outside, you have to start to learn how to be kind and gentle. And that way you will start to enlarge your society, I mean, your, your life perspective. No longer lock to yourself. No longer lock to one person. And you become a person with a bigger heart. A bigger heart can carry bigger merits and hence will get receive bigger fortunes. And they will use their fortunes if you stay true to yourself, not being blinded by great greed or hatred, then you will be able to share it with more people. That's how you roll up snowballing your merits, guys. That's how wealthy people get wealthier and poorer people get poorer. Not just the system, but on this level where they feel like they are tight with everything they eat and drink for the impoverished people and they if they choose the path of getting even more stingy or even more tight if a person who are in a spot in spite of terrible physical wealth uh, wealth condition like they don't have enough to give they still give despite they don't have much to give with like homeless people i saw that uh, they still give to other homeless people or to other they're still able to do the, the good things even though they have nothing else left with them in our sense this kind of person will receive huge merits in future person who already have so many things still hold things up this person will run out of his own tap one day and fall back into the lower class of wealth so these are very dynamic stuff, guys. All right? This is what Tyson Guy been trying to tell us. All right? Be good to others because you will eventually be good to yourself. If you only be good to yourself, you are hurting yourself. Thank you so much. Uh, let's end this session in ten times Amito four and dedication of merits. The answer. Ah, uh, me. Tor for a me 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 for a me tor for a me tor for dedication of merits. First, the special dedication. May the merits and virtues accrue from this Dhamma talk, uh, from this practice session of the talk on the good book. Treaties on response and retributions be dedicated to all beings who suffer from natural calamities and man-made disasters, such as wars and from the pandemics. Uh, may this merit also dedicated to all beings and their karmic creditors, as you know, the suffers from this, and also dedicated uh, to my grandfather who 
is currently in stage 3B cancel and hopefully he's and his common creditors will be liberated one way or the other uh, from the pain and sufferings and may those uh, may all the com Buddhist communities uh, Bahama brothers and sisters of all Amitabha Buddhist communities and their common creditors uh, be liberated and be able to born in pure land now or when time is up or may their life now be fulfilling and happy and able to cultivate even better than yesterday uh, may those who see and may the various and virtues accrue from this work adorn the buddha's pure land repay the four kinds of kindness above and relieve the sufferings of those in the three paths below <clears throat> May those who see and hear of this all bring forth the heart of understanding and compassion and leave the teachings for the rest of this life. Then they be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. Amitofo, thank you very much, Antiense.